Listen, we don't see the competition I drop off a ransom note that your art is missing, nigga uh, Pay us in full with the money Or she gon' get her fingers clipped off like Lil Sonny, huh? MREC TV An important message from Youth Fountain Laboratory Makers of Basil Flux and Basil Flux for Men If you're over the age of 35 And over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaqueout. Plaqueout is made of all natural ingredients proven to help. Dissolve clots in the blood. Remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries. Improve viscosity of the blood. Improve elasticity of the veins and arteries. Treat varicose veins and prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856. And remember, to help unclog veins and arteries, get the plaque out. What's going on, family? It's Trip Young, and I'm introducing a new segment called Trip Talk, and it's basically going to be me just chopping it up with with some of my friends and acquaintances and people that I've come in uh, contact with throughout my years and uh, being in the film and entertainment business. Uh, we starting off with a, a Harlem legend. Bad Boy recording artist from the, the, the early 2000s. Y'all probably know his, his two biggest hits, uh, Let's Get It and uh, Special Delivery, two records that still bump at damn near every party. They can still uh, still still bump. He's going to be calling in from, from jail because he is still uh, behind bars. He turned himself in almost 11 years ago now, and he's been in prison since. But he, he will be calling in tonight, and we're going to chop it up, man. We're going to go through his career. We're going to talk about his uh, his mental health. We're going to talk some drug addiction. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about a whole lot. So sit tight, and uh, as soon as he calls in, we're going to drop the interview. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you. What's happening? What's happening? How you? I'm good, man. Blessed. I can't complain. How's everything on your end? Praise God. That's what's up. Everything is everything, man. Just holding on, you know? We're staying out the way, you know what I'm saying? That's a good thing, and I definitely appreciate you uh, for taking the time out. I know I know it's probably crazy for you, um, so I definitely want to thank you for taking the time out to chop it up for a couple of minutes. For sure, bro. You already know, man. You know that's how we got to do, man. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Black enterprise, baby. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, you know... You know, fam is fam, though, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Son is, son is, good, son is good people, so I figured I'd do them that. You know what I mean? That's a fact. I definitely appreciate that. So let me um, let me, let me me introduce uh, a Harlem legend. G. Depp is uh, is in the building right now with us. He is calling in uh, right right now. Um, and we definitely are glad to, to, to have you with us. We got a, We got a lot of things. That we that we're gonna get to on this interview, but um, I'm I gotta start to start right at right at the at the peak at the, right with the music. Um, I wanna I'm gonna go yeah. back to uh to Child of the Ghetto, 2001. That was your your your, your first uh major album on uh on Bad Boy Records. Sure, that's the fact. Okay, so Bad talk. Boy Shout out to the whole Bad Boy. You know what I mean? That's Bad a, Boy for life, B. That's a fact. That's a fact. Talk to me about about that album, and um, what went into to making that album. Well, you know that that was that was basically you know that was just, that was that was the, that was the time that 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 defined you know my my uh, my career was the eight the, you know the eight the the the, the apex moment you know what I'm saying you know of of of, of my of my of my uh, unprofessional career, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it took me, you know, that was the threshold from unprofessionalism to professionalism, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it taught me a lot, 
You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was it was a point where, you know, I just was able to express myself, you know what I mean, to the fullest over high-powered beats, you know what I'm saying, around, you know, professional, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 hit makers and, you know what I'm saying, musical musical savants, you know what I'm saying? So it was just a, it was just a, a, a renaissance in my life, you know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. How how did releasing that album change your life? I mean, you know, in a lot of ways, it cha- you know, it, it catapulted me directly from, you know, being a boy to a man, you know what I'm saying, for one, you know what I mean? Because, you know, with, 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 great, with great power comes great responsibility, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying, I had to, you know, I went from, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to being a... From, to being a bill to paying bills, like you know what I'm saying. So it was like you know, yeah. So you know, it was it was it was a, it was a, it was definitely a, a eye opening experience, transform transformation. You know what I mean? All that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know you know you know what it feels like to be a young man. You know, to, you know, just just to running up some, some some bread and you know have to take care of your family and take care of your business. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it just it just made you. It made you ready. It made me ready. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a fact. And um, you know, one 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 of my favorite one of my favorite songs still. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of people's uh, favorite songs to this day. You can't put that song on and, and, and you don't get up off your ass and start dancing. Uh, let's uh, get it. So, uh, wow, wow, wow. Talk to me about that single, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, that was one of them things. You know, what I'm saying, um, the producer. The producer Yogi, uh, uh, he had a he had a single, you know what I'm saying. He had a group called Crew. I don't know if you remember that group, but I'm pretty sure if you hear the song, you will remember. But the dude, he he ended up being a hit maker, uh-huh. you know what I mean, a hit man. Excuse me, on on you know with the label, and you know he you know he kept telling me, Yo, Deb, I got something for you. I got I got this joint. It's gonna be crazy. Like it's gonna be like you know bells and whistles. Like you are gonna go crazy on it. I know it. And I was like, no doubt, no doubt. And it was like, we just kept missing each other. And then one day, I, you know, he was at the studio and he was like, yo, ride home with me. I got, I got the joint with me. And I was like, oh, word. So we rolled home and he let me hear the joint. And it was just like, it was just like, it was like a, a like a, like a whistle went, like a, you know what I'm saying? A, a bell went off in my head. Like, yo, this is, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and that was really basically, you know what I'm saying? All she wrote, I went, I went. I went to the spot that night. You know, I was living in Lennox Terrace at the time. You know what I'm saying? I felt like the Godfather of Harlem. I don't know if y'all watching that out there, but I was in the steps, <laughs> chilling by myself in the same building. That's why it's crazy because the same building from the from the from the uh, from the episode of Godfather of Harlem when he was in the steps, uh-huh. sitting on the steps. That's how I was. I'm chilling. I'm in the, I'm in the steps with my little fifty dollar radio. You know what I mean? Just writing, going hard. And I wrote the Let's Get It that night. You know what I'm saying? Right over the joint. You know what I mean? And it just was, it was one of them joints that sat there. Like, we didn't really understand it. We just was like, yo, what is this? You know what I mean? And yeah. it didn't have nobody on it. It just had me. I was just on it dolo. You know what I mean? Dudes was just listening to it. We was listening to it for months. Like, yo, what are we going to do with this? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding around. My people just loving it. They like, yo, well, what, yeah, but what is it? Like, <laughs> But it became a staple like, in, in Harlem, like it, that, like that, that song yeah, like, was like a that's voice for Harlem. That's a fact. And, and then Puffy got his hands on it. And he really like he listened to it after a while. At first, he was like, "Yeah, Jeff, I gotta sit with that." Like, I don't, you know what I mean. And then after a while, he was like, "Yo, nah, I gotta get on this." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he was like, "I need to get on this. I'm gonna put Black Rob on this, and we gonna do that." And I was, we, we, we was gonna do the. The three the hard way. That was the name of the little little click we had. He said we're gonna do the three the hard way on this. Well, it, it, it definitely like, wow, worked yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. And that was that. You know, the Harlem Shake dance though, kind of got yeah. it got it got kind of got famous though once the once the video dropped. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, it was already. I'm pretty sure you know it was already a dance. You know, it was already a thing. Oh yeah, 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 but yeah. but as far as on on a larger scale for like the world to see, when that when that video dropped, that kind of was like it, it just kind of went crazy. Yeah, yeah, I, I could say that. I could say that. It kind of like I, made I it a... made it viral before things was going viral, but that video kind of yeah. made the dance go viral. 
basically. Yeah, I, I could I could agree with that. Because it was definitely one of them things where I didn't even, it just grew a whole body on its own. I was like, yo, dude, little kids running up on me. Yo, look at this, yo. You know, they doing the flipping the hats and flipping the hat, putting it on their foot and flipping the hat back on their head. I'm like, yo, what? It went crazy. Like, it, went, it really did. Like you said, it was one of them things that was viral before they even had viral. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Once you get once you get the little kid going crazy, you know what I'm saying? You know it's about something because little kids, they you know they they honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. They be like they they let you know right off the. You know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? They keep it right there. It's on pure. The it's Listen, pure. This yeah, it's pure. This ain't this ain't it or this is it. And they used to run up on me like, nah, look, yo, Dad, yo. You know what I mean? Shaking their shoulders and all that. I said, oh, this might be, this might be something right here. You know, it was, it was one of them things, you know? Now, I got a question. D- 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 do you remember uh, Big Gene? Big Gene? Yeah, the security. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. For sure I remember Big Gene. All right, now, he he told me he was the one that, that, that found the kids that did the dancing in the video. He probably did. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, you know, the, I didn't know the process. I know when we, we, had, we had auditions mm-hmm. for the, for the for for the class, I mean, excuse me. Why I say class? I don't even know why I said <laughs> for the for the uh, video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And and, and they, they was just or they was auditioning all type of kids came down there. People was just doing their little dances, and and they the little the kids happened to be there. I knew the I knew the uh the dude that was running the little dance click. It was an older dude named West. He wasn't older, but he was like a, a taller kid. Like you know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. was a young kid, but he was like bigger than everybody else. But he that was his little clique. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he and, and they came through and they just didn't pick him because he was like big. They wanted like little kids, Younger, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So they Yeah, so like but I, I didn't I never knew who brought him around, you know what I'm saying? I just, so it probably was Gene, but I remember Big Gene though, that's a fact. Yeah, he t- he told me to tell you tell you what up. He said he sent he sent send love to yeah. you, brother. He told me to tell you that. All right, I appreciate that. Tell him right back. You hear me? Definitely, Word. definitely will do. And um and then and then uh special delivery dropped right after that, and it was just like kind of off to the races. Like everybody was was loving G Dep at that time. Like you 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 brought something crazy to the game. Oh man, man, man! Praise God, man! I just was doing what I what I knew to do. You know what I'm saying? That was. What I, you know, what, what I always did, as, you know, as a young kid, writing and putting little songs together, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. was that was my whole thing. That was, you know, so you know, it was time when I when I got a, a chance to, you know, put it out there on a, on a professional level. It was just it was like just something that I did already. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that's a, that, that that's a fact. How, how was uh? Because you you guys went on went on tour after that after after that record dropped. Uh, yeah, say that again. You went on tour. Yeah, to to promote after the after the that when that album dropped. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Talk talk to me about that, man. Talk to me about about uh, life, because I mean, prior to that, you 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 know, you pretty much was in the city. You was you was in Harlem. I don't know how how much you traveled after that, but you know, once you once you get that kind of success and you get ready to start traveling and going on tour, I know things things are different. So talk to me about about the t- about tour and being on the road. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Like that, that was something that was a shell shock to me. I ain't gonna lie. They really understand, you know, the the, the you know, when you hear about tour, you hear, you know, I don't know. For me, you know, I heard, you know, people talk about tour, and I thought it was just a big party, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be ready for that. Like you, you, you know what I mean? Like you, you can't be, you know what I'm saying? Like not rested. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying it's not, it's not a party because you got to be able to balance all of that. And there's no way to really, you know what I'm saying, just do what you want to do and be on tour. You got to be responsible about, you know, your rest, you know, your diet, you know what I mean? Your, you know, what's going to give you energy, what's going to take the energy, what's going to zap you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really didn't understand that. So I was out on the road, you know what I mean? Like, Sleeping at the wrong time, like dudes knocking on my door. Yo, what happened? Yo, what you doing? We gotta be over here. It was hectic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I had to really, yeah. So I had to really learn, like you know what I'm saying, the hard way. Like you know what I mean? Like we went through a lot of trial and error before before I got it. You know what I mean? Even 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 uh, uh remotely correct. Like I didn't even, I still didn't get it right all the way. But I started to understand, like yo, after a while, you gotta you gotta be easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to kind of, you know, be, this is your job. Like, it's not really, like, just a fun.
part in games all the time. Yeah, so, you, you can know, play, but you still got to make sure you're putting that work in. Yeah, a, a fact. You got to, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you want to, you hit these towns and these, these cities, and you want to go to the hot spots. You want to go to the, you want to go to the park. You want to go to mm-hmm. the club. You want to go maybe see what the hood is like. You know, you know what I mean? And we was trying to do all that. And just like, nah, go. As soon as you pull up, you gotta run to the you gotta run to the radio station. You gotta go do your drops. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And you know, so you, you definitely you definitely gotta understand what's going on. Like, and I be telling people that, you know, a lot of people ask me about like, yo, what's, what you feel about you know when you get on like you know what, what it's like. I'm like, yo, it's, it's really just it's a it's a job. Like, you know what I mean? You're doing what you love, but you gotta remember that you know what I mean. You, you got a job to do. Yeah, and, and and if you if you don't do it as easily <laughs> to lose that that job if you ain't doing exactly. what you're supposed to do. Real fast, real fast. That's not a that's not a game. Yeah, but you, that's but definitely you, that's definitely a fact. But you were doing what you what you're supposed to do uh, at the time because you uh, special special delivery hit fifty nine on 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 the Billboard charts, which is which is huge uh, for hip hop, especially you know at at that time. Uh, to to have a record to really kind of cross over. So what w- what was that like when you when you seen that when you seen the record going up the charts at a time like it's not like now where now you you see a lot more hip hop you know records charting and, and going yeah. high up on the charts. But it, but in in, in two thousand two two thousand one, you know what I'm saying like you really had to have a record to 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 really hit them charts like that. Right, right. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't really pay. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to that. Like I just kind of. You know, I was hearing stuff from, you know, my, my, you know, my, I had a little, you know, my little team, yo, that be doing good, you on the billboards and yo, you know what I'm saying, yo, you know, you get, you know, some notoriety, like people really feeling it, you on hot nine, you top, top, what was the joint at that time? On um, the top eight and eight, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. was the stuff, yeah, that was the stuff that was, just, that was really catching my ear, like, yo, damn, yeah, funk, funk, funk master flex is dropping bombs on the joint. I'm like, yeah, cool. Like, that was really, you know what I'm saying? As far as I went, as far as paying attention, paid attention to a lot of that. But after a while, you know, as I, you know, as, as time went on, I started checking out old books, and I was seeing, you know, the the the, the, the joint on in the Billboard, you mm-hmm. know, count a uh, uh, line up like you said, and all of that. So you know, it was definitely a blessing. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? But like I, you know, a lot of it moved. It went so fast. A lot of a lot of it was just like. You know, blur. I was just, you know, trying to do the next thing. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Now, you you signed a, a five album deal uh, with Bad Boy at the at the time, correct? Yeah. So yeah, something like that. I think it's even more than that. But go ahead. So now, what what happens with that? Because you you only dr- released Child of the Ghetto through Bad Boy. Your next album didn't come until uh, was it 2007? You did the the the, um, the Bad Boy album with with Loon. So what happens in between? Like, how does that how does that work? Do you do you have to pay anything back to like the labels, or because you you didn't complete those projects? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that was. No, nah, I don't. I don't really. It was like kind of like you know stipulated that we had to do these albums, but you know, I got at the I got to the point where you know what I mean. It was you know hip hop was changing. It wasn't really you know the the the, the, the way hip hop was being delivered. And service had changed, so it was kind of like you know, you know, I was I had to catch up to that before we even thought about putting another album out. So you know, the label wasn't even really, you know what I mean? They wasn't really stressing it. They was like, yo, you know, just try to make joints, like you know what I'm saying? Just just keep making music, hit the studio, and we kept we kind of kept the same mind frame, and you know. You know, as far as the formula, as far as how we was making music, mm-hmm. I know from you know from my from my point of view, like you know, we was kind of keeping the same format. Yo, just we just got to make these these smashes, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But you know, the 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 game was moving so quick that you know what I mean. You know, it was it was like the label really didn't have a choice but to you know what I'm saying, just kind of kind of just watch the game moving. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like a lot of time. You know, a lot of a lot of it was it was, it was you know was played played by ear. You know what I mean? And, and you know, and it got it got critical where it was like you know that you know we we, we you ain't moving with the game. You know what I'm saying? So like we gotta just keep we we gotta we gotta keep our you know our food on our table. So whenever you get whenever you figure it out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You you come through. And, you know, maybe we could talk. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, was, it was still like an open door kind of a thing where it's like, all right, you, yeah, it was out, like, you know, well, but come get to come get to work when you when you're ready. 
Yeah, when you, you know what I mean? When you, because look, because look, you see what's happening, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, cool. So I was, you know, like, that's how a lot of other projects started to happen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, you know like the Tap and Loon album, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was putting mixtapes out, you know what I'm saying? I was trying yeah. to, you know, figure it out, you know what I mean? Because you were still releasing work, but as, but as far as uh, actual uh, EP, you the the next one didn't come until that, that Loon album. The one, the one right. with Loon. Okay, so yeah, right, nah. question because you got to Bad Boy after uh, Big's death, um, but did 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 that like ever kind of did that weigh on you as far as when you was thinking about signing with the label? Did you ever feel like uncomfortable, or you know what I'm saying like is this the right place for for me to be because of all the things that was going on with Bad Boy before you got there? Nah, nah. I mean, you know, I mean because. Don't get me wrong, when Big passed, it was it was it was devastating, you know what I mean, for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when I got there, you know, the the label was in the middle of, you know, just just a, you know they didn't wanna they you could tell that they didn't wanna make they didn't wanna let big, you know, death and they didn't want him to die in vain, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's what it felt like. Going. It was like nah, we gotta we, yeah, we gotta keep going for big at least, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like you know, okay, what you got? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was, it was more, it was more of a, of a, of a, of a, you know, pressure thing, if anything, like, like if Big was still there, actually, like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give it up, son. Like, you know, this is, this is where Biggie was at. Like, yeah, so you gotta put that really put on. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? That was what it really was. It was like, they wasn't playing the machine. The machine was so crazy when I got there. Mm-hmm. It was like, yo, listen, you know what I mean, and and, and 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 you just had to come. So that was that was that was basically how how that was. It wasn't really like, you know, any anything like, you know, like like if, if it was anything detrimental. If anything, it it, it it motivated me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. To keep I'm going. Pretty sure everybody else too. You know what I mean? Like we knew Big was in them halls. Like you know, what I'm saying? It, was, yeah. it wasn't a game. No, that's a fact. Because it was because at that time it was it was you. And uh, and Black Rob, y'all y'all had y'all had a couple of crazy records that was really uh, pushing Bad Boy uh, forward. I guess into the new ma- new millennium because he had Whoa, and then when yeah, you had yeah. Let's Get It a Special Delivery, and it was, you know it was, it, y'all y'all had that was off to the races at that right. point. That's a fact, man. Br shout out to Br man. He you know he made magic happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he he had joints already. You know what I'm saying? But they wanted to put his album out. You know, they needed a single. And he pulled that right out of his hat. That whoa joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I need a joint, yo. And, like, dudes came to the studio and he just had to be playing. And it was like, yo, what I'm going to do with this? Like, and he just, like, right there, whoa. Like, we was like, yeah, that's kind of crazy. It just that was you know what I mean. The rest is you know what I mean. The yeah. rest is history. <laughs> that thing just, that thing just took I off. Put that together like that, like just like that, like you know what I mean. Yes, sir, what, what's uh, what's your relationship like now uh, with your label mates? Do do you are you in touch with with any of them? I mean, for the, you know, for for the most part, like you know, br br still you know shoot me pictures, you know, do second party, like you know what I'm saying. You know, okay. tell that myself without you know what I mean. But dudes is moving. I understand. You know, we grown men. With 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 families and you know what I'm saying you yeah, know I don't, yeah. you know I don't expect those to you know what I'm saying be you know you know holding my hand on that uh, nothing like that you know what I mean but dudes you know dudes is doing them I'm pretty sure love is love we all we always loved each other it wasn't nothing we never had nothing like it was crazy because it was like even though we all was trying to be separate entities dudes just you know we all knew it was it was enough life for everybody man just go like you know what yeah. I mean and, and it was kind was of a family thing, thing with y'all. People. Yeah, it was a, it was a, was that was definitely a family. It was like yo, just go, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Go. It wasn't never no like yo, this person is this person, and yo, yo, in the whispering and nah. We was like yo, whatever, it was good. Like you know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. I mean? And that's you know, and it's still like that. I'm pretty sure because I holla at dude since this during this bit. I spoke to I spoke to you know Mark Curry. I spoke to okay. Black Rob Wild. You know what I mean? Only one I haven't spoke to is Loon. You know Loon. He just came home. I haven't spoke to him, you know, directly, but uh, he knows some dudes in here, you know what I mean? And okay. we, done, we done spoke to him, you know what I'm saying? So it's love, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, you know, the whole bad boy, man, you know what I'm saying? I, obviously. 
you know, I can't speak to who I can't speak to, but you know, that is what it is. You know? I got you. Um, what what about Puff? Has have have you spoken to him since you've been away? You're the plug and such You a joke's bound to happen If you slipping or you lacking I'm gripping on the matching Ready for the action Shots will make you break dash And have you do a backspin I got more kicks than karate flicks My whole team pushing Maserati whips You all IG like in thotty pics Shorty pocket broke but her body fixed Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. MREC TV. It's got a music.